With the significant full launches from Samsung for the year now behind us and other companies releasing their autumn smartphones, the excitement surrounding the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra is only building. It's time to concentrate on Samsung's plans for 2024 now. Their flagship phone will be the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Samsung's most significant task will be to outperform the S23 Ultra's features, which include superior performance, longer-lasting batteries, and camera capabilities that were unmatched by phones released in the previous year. Early S24 Ultra speculations, however, suggest that there is something to be excited about. In addition to upgrading to a potent chip like the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, there have been discussions about additional advancements in camera technology, specifically a more robust telephoto lens. To extend battery life further, Samsung may consider speeding up the 6.8-inch display and implementing a stacked battery design. Here is everything we currently know about the upcoming Galaxy S24, taking into consideration leaks about the smartphone and specific rumors concerning the Ultra model. It is unlikely that the S24 Ultra will get a redesign, given that Samsung has already incorporated the Ultra's design into their S23 lineup this year and even made their less expensive Galaxy of phones resemble the Ultra. Adding bezels to the display is possible, which might result in some modifications. Samsung is likely to remain with its current strategy because it appreciates the look of having a row of camera lenses on the back of its phones. Using materials could be one way to modify the Ultra's design. Leaks suggest that Samsung may swap the phone's armor aluminum sides for titanium ones. All three of the company's models will receive this modification. According to Leaker Ice Universe, this change could weigh up to one gram less than before. There are speculations of four color options gray, violet, and yellow. In addition, there are certain extraordinary hues that are only accessible through Samsung stores. Orange, light blue, and light green. Suspected dummies of the Galaxy S24 phone suggest possible changes from the S23 Ultra's design. The display and back panel would appear less curved if the edges were squared off. The camera's dimensions could also be changed to account for any changes to the sensors they use. One of the screens available on a non-foldable phone is the 6.8-inch screen on the Ultra model's previous few iterations. Samsung is probably going to stick with the 6.8-inch screen on the Ultra. A source claims that Ice Universe will reveal the upcoming device's peak brightness, 2500 nits, compared to the S23 Ultra, which was its predecessor and had a peak brightness rating of 1750 nits. This is an improvement of 750 nits. The refresh rate of the display may have changed significantly. This large display has a refresh rate of 120 Hz, which should be lowered to 1 Hz when there isn't much activity on the screen since the release of the Galaxy S20 Ultra. But according to rumors from Sam Lover, the model for this year may boost its rate to an astounding 144 Hz. Although most devices with refresh rates are usually gaming phones, considering Samsung's emphasis on gaming capabilities in their Ultra lineup, it wouldn't be shocking if they decided to add this feature to their flagship, top-of-the-line model. Examples are large displays, strong processors, and internal cooling systems that reduce performance problems. Samsung upgraded the Galaxy S22 Ultra camera last year by swapping out the device's 108-megapixel primary sensor for a more potent 200-megapixel one. There are rumors that Samsung is improving the sensor, but we shouldn't expect to see another leap. This could entail enhancements like better color reproduction, or an aperture, to LED and light. Ice Universe recently revealed that the Ultra will have 3x and 5x zoom lenses for 10 and 50 megapixels, respectively. The more detailed 5x sensor will compensate for the loss of the 10x zoom, just as Apple did with the iPhone 15 by using pixel binning. In contrast to its predecessors, this modification won't impact the phone's capacity to reach a maximum zoom of 100x. Q-cubs for the S23 Ultra's cameras can be seen in images of Ultra cases that Ice Universe has shared confirming reports that Samsung will continue to use two telephoto lenses even if one of them gets a megapixel boost. The phone's 12-megapixel rear camera is the only feature that might need some improvement. Additionally, Samsung unveiled its Zoom Anywhere camera technology which combines artificial intelligence AI with a 200-megapixel sensor to provide better zooming capabilities. One uses artificial intelligence AI to maintain focus on your subject throughout the shot and the other lets you capture both full-frame and zoom images simultaneously in 4K quality. Samsung is also altering its photo capture technique, moving away from the customary sequential approach and toward parallel image processing. This should enhance image quality by lowering latency and data loss while increasing capture speeds by a factor of two. Although the Ultra hasn't received confirmation of these changes, it seems likely given the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3's AI engine and reliance on a 200-megapixel lens. It's safe to assume that Qualcomm will include its newest and greatest processor in the S24 lineup this year. 
Samsung has previously employed a combination of Qualcomm and Exynos chips in specific models. The S24 phones of the upcoming year are rumored to have only Qualcomm chips. Nonetheless, some arguments imply that Samsung may continue to use Exynos chips in flagship device versions. Yojish Brar's leaked specifications further corroborate this assertion. The phones released in the US and South Korea are anticipated to be powered by Qualcomm's October-introduced Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. In contrast, S24 Ultra models may be powered by Exynos 2400 and other regions. Due to the performance differences between Exynos and Snapdragon chips, this news may have caused some concern in the past, but it looks like Samsung is working to improve its silicon when compared to devices with Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 A16 Bionic processors. Leaked benchmarks for the Exynos 2400 show promising results in terms of performance on Geekbench. However, they are still not competitive with processors like the rumored 8 Gen 3 or A17 Pro. The Snapdragon chip and the Ultra might be used globally, while the S24 and S24 Plus models' chips differ depending on where they are purchased. Another report claims hints of an optimized Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor in the upcoming S24 Ultra and S24 Plus models. It's important to note that the 8 Gen 2 is used for performance in the current S23 lineup. However, the 8 Gen 3 chip for Galaxy devices may also slow down efficiency cores and increase the core's clock speed. Making this change prolongs the battery's life when using apps. According to leaked benchmark tests, the S24 Ultra's Apple of 17 Pro chip is helping it perform closer to Apple's iPhone 15 Pro Max. Even though the S24 Ultra still has a way to go before reaching the iPhone's peak bench scores, it could provide graphics performance. Qualcomm claims that the Adrenum GPU in their Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset offers an enhancement of up to 25% over its predecessor, which was already very good at graphics. Satellite connectivity was one intriguing feature allegedly planned for Galaxy models but was omitted this year. Nonetheless, there are hopes that the S24 Ultra will bring this feature to market, allowing users to send emergency messages even when offline, much like the iPhone 14 generation does. It is unclear if Samsung would think about adding satellite connectivity to every one of its flagship models the way Apple has done with their particular feature. According to one rumor, Samsung may upgrade the Ultra's cooling system and add a new stack battery. The theory is that a stack battery is considerably denser and can hold more power than given volume. In this specific case, there may be an improvement of about 10% according to one report. The S24 Ultra's maximum charging speed is expected to reach 65 watts thanks to this new battery design, which is approximately 50% faster than the S23 Ultra's 45 watts charging. However, it has recently been reported that Samsung has no plans to approve charging for the Galaxy S24 series. The software for Samsung's current phones is being rolled out, and it will be interesting to see how they revamp Samsung's One UI for the upcoming S24 lineup. Although there aren't any details, it seems like Samsung is investing significantly in intelligence to elevate the Ultra. One noteworthy feature is Samsung Gauss, an AI system from Samsung that will be incorporated into the Galaxy S24 series. This AI is anticipated to help users with email composition, content translation, document summarization, and other tasks. It will also come with an AI-powered picture maker that can be used as a portable photo editor. Samsung Gauss will function on the gadget rather than utilizing ChatGPT or other cloud-based AI models. This implies that these models can be operated on the S24 Ultra without connectivity. Nevertheless, reports are indicating that a paywall may be in place for some of these AI-assisted features. Since it's still too early to judge, subscribe to our channel to receive updates regularly about the S24 lineup. The news for today is concluded. I hope the video was enjoyable. Anticipating your presence in the upcoming one, be careful.